हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ स्पोर्टी टॉक्स आज की वीडियो में हम बात करने वाले हैं ऑफ अ वेरी ग्रेट प्लेयर काफी लोगों के लिए दिस प्लेयर इज रिगार्डेड एज द लेजेंड इन स्पैनिश फुटबॉल एंड हिज नेम इज राउल गोंजालिस ब्लैंको सो सब कुछ हम जानेंगे राहुल के करियर के बारे में हाउ ही प्लेड वेयर ही प्लेड एंड किस हिसाब के वो प्लेयर थे क्या अचीव किया उन्होंने वट टाइप ऑफ अ प्लेयर ही वॉज सो अगर आप इस चैनल पर फर्स्ट टाइम आओ जरूर से सब्सक्राइब करना एंड ऑल्सो लाइक दिस वीडियो तो चलो वीडियो में आगे बढ़ते हैं The most valuable player is the one who makes the most players valuable. Such a player was Raul Gonzalez, a player who was capable of bringing out miracles from himself and his teammates as well. Standing at 1.8 meters, he is considered as one of the best forwards to have blessed this game with astonishing skills and consistency. His illustrious 19-year career saw him lead his team towards success from the front when his team was at their lowest. Raul Gonzalez European Cup me fifth All time top scorer hain and for Real Madrid he is the third most goal scorer. Raul played like a supporting striker who not only scores goals for himself but also helps his partner score too. Raul apni leadership skill ke liye jaane jaate hain and isiliye inka naam diya gaya El Capitan. He won two Pichichi trophies in 1999 and 2001, the top goal scorer award for the European Cup in 2000 and 2001. and one time was awarded the best player award at the intercontinental cup in 1998 raul ko regard kiya jata hai as one of the greatest players of his era he was raised in madrid's san cristobal de los negles district where he first played for his neighborhood youth team before switching to atletico madrid youth team later he started playing for atletico madrid youth squad and next year he played for the cadet squad who won the national championship aur jab atletico madrid ke then president जेस गिल ने डिसमेंटल कर दिया यूथ प्रोग्राम ऑफ एथलेटिको मड्रिड कॉस्ट सेविंग मेजर के लिए राहुल ज्वाइन करते हैं रियाल मड्रिड की यूथ टीम इन ला फैब्रिका ही वेंट ऑन टू प्ले एट जूवनल ए देन जूवनल बी एंड देन मूव अप टू जूवनल सी टीम द फॉलोइंग ईयर राहुल वन दी डेलस कप इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी थ्री एंड नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर वाइल प्लेंग फॉर रियाल मड्रिड यूथ टीम रियाल मड्रिड सी टीम के साथ राहुल ने अपना प्रोफेशनल डेब्यू किया नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर और नाइनटीन नाइनटी फाइव कैंपेन में एट सेवेंटीन ईयर्स वन ट्वेंटी फोर डेज राहुल बिकम्स द यंगेस्ट प्लेयर एवर टू प्ले फॉर द सीनियर साइड और अपने सेकेंड सीनियर गेम में राहुल ने अपनी पिछली टीम एथलेटिको मड्रिड के अगेंस्ट गोल मारा द फॉलोइंग सीजन राहुल हेल्प रियाल मड्रिड विन दी लीग चैंपियनशिप इन इज फर्स्ट सीजन बाय स्कोरिंग नाइन गोल्स इन ट्वेंटी एट गेम्स solidifying himself as the main stay in the starting lineup unhone real madrid ke sath numerous titles jeete including la liga in 1996 and 1997 jahan pe unhone 21 goal mare 2000 aur 2001 ka season jahan pe unhone 24 goal mare and 2002 2003 ka season jahan pe usne 16 goal mare but us season he was also hospitalized for an episode of appendicitis 1998 2000 and 2002 mein rahul ne real madrid ko teen european cups bhi jitaya hum sabko yaad hai wo rahul ka celebration camp nu pe jab 1 lakh fans ke samne october 1999 mein rahul ne apne lips pe finger rakh ke shish karke celebrate kiya tha that was very very historic aur jab 2003 mein fernando hero real madrid ko chhodte hain to rahul ko captain ka role diya jata hai and fir he went on to be the captain of real madrid until 2010 surprisingly rahul never won the copa del rey despite participating in two finals in 2004 and 2002 and he holds the record of never being sent off in his 17 years at the professional level raul ne real madrid ke liye 16 saal tak khela 223 goals mare and third all time top scorer bane making 741 appearances which is the most in the club's history raul real madrid pe four super copa de espana jeete hain three european cups jeete hain one european super cup jeete hain two intercontinental cup jeete hain and july 25 2010 ko raul left real madrid tin din baad hi july 28 2010 mein raul committed to a two year deal with schalke in germany of it 2011 mein raul went on to win a domestic cup and received his first trophy with his new team in his 66 appearance for schalke he scored 28 goals और जब उसका कॉन्ट्रैक्ट खत्म होता है 2012 में ही लेफ्ट शाल के इज वेल दो हजार सीजन के लिए राहुल ने कतारी टीम अल साद के साथ साइन किया एंड अपने पहले मैच में ही वन द गेम टू नल अगेंस्ट अ साइड मिसामियर 5 मार्च 2014 को राहुल अनाउंस करते हैं दैट ही विल रिटायर फ्रॉम प्रोफेशनल फुटबॉल एट द एंड ऑफ द कतारी फुटबॉल सीजन बट थर्टी अक्टूबर टू राहुल रिटर्न टू प्रोफेशनल फुटबॉल अगेन एंड साइन विद द न्यू यॉर्क कॉस्मोस इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स राहुल ने फोर टाइम स्कोर किया विद इज न्यू टीम एंड वन the spring season with 5 wins and 5 draws and finally after this season he retired after 942 club games and 404 goals scored by rahul he left a legacy that inspires many generations of footballers 
Raul started his Spanish career at the junior level and competed for his country in the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in 1995, जहाँ पर उन्होंने तीन गोल मारे पांच मैचेस में। उन्होंने फिर Under-21 टीम के लिए 1996 UEFA European Cup के लिए कंपीट किया, जो कि फाइनल तक जाती है। And then Raul went on to play for Spain's senior side for several years and set a national record with 44 goals in 102 appearances. अपने 44 गोल्स में से Raul ने 32 मारे कंपटीटिव मैचेस में, six जो कि मेजर टूर्नामेंट के फाइनल्स में आए एंड 12 थे फ्रेंडलीज मैचेस में। 9 अक्टूबर 1996 को Raul को अपनी पहली सीनियर कैप मिलती है अगेंस्ट चेक रिपब्लिक after participating in an entirely goalless draw in the FIFA World Cup qualifying match and Raul went on to play in each game of the final tournament in France as Spain was eliminated in Group D. But Raul ka Spain ke liye best performance aata hai in the UEFA Euro 2000 qualifying match jahan pe nohne 4 goal maare against Austria and where Spain won 9-0 in 1999. He then went on to score 3 goals in a 6-0 victory against San Marino 4 days later. But Spain were knocked out in the quarterfinal by eventual champions France. In this particular final, Raul missed the last minute penalty which if he would have scored would have taken Spain into extra time. In 2002 in World Cup, Raul has a growing injury in the Spain round of 16 match against the Republic of Ireland and eventually Spain loses South Korea against in the quarter finals. Raul's last game for Spain came in a 3-2 loss to Northern Ireland on 6 September 2006. Raul ne Spain ke liye 44 goals to mare but he could not win any major trophies but he was a great leader who fought till the very end in every tournament in every match that he played. Raul ko recognize kiya jata hai as one of the best and most reliable forwards of his time. Wo ek prolific goal scorer to thai thai saath hi saath ek bhoot hi highly creative forward bhi thai aur khas kar unki creativity ke liye Raul ko aaj tak jana jata hai. Despite the fact that he could play anywhere on the pitch in the front line, he was usually used as a center forward or a supporting striker. Raul could play as a number 10 or behind the forward or even being utilized as a left winger too. Raul possessed excellent ball control and technical ability and was effective in the air as well. And surely most of the people still remember him for his ability to lead and maintain the order on the pitch. He is known as El Ferrari for his technical prowess, style, goals and the performances. And right now, Raul oversees the youth team of Real Madrid that is known as Castilla. I hope he doesn't like traveling. Failing that, we will stop him entering the country. Real buy big players like Figo, Zidane, Ronaldo, but I think the best player in the world is Raul. Sir Alex Ferguson quoted this statement back in 2003 after he was asked who was the best player for him. Just from this statement, we can understand how great a player was Raul. The legacy he left behind would help shape the next generation of footballers to see football more than just a game and to find new dimensions to the capabilities of this beautiful sport. And that's absolutely everything you need to know about Raul. And I hope ki aaj ki video mein aapko Raul ke baare mein kaafi insights mile. So next kis player ke baare mein hume baat karna hai, do let us know in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching. And remember, agar aapko La Liga, Serie A ya League An dekhna hai, toh you can find all of that on MTV, VH1 and Vood Select. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and milte hain agle video mein.